positive vaccine news today. Moderna has applied to the Food and Drug Administration for emergency use authorization. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says that could mean the first shots rolling out by late December, but there are still challenges. Moderna is the second U.S. company after Pfizer to release its full trial results and apply for EUA, emergency use authorization. The company says its vaccine was just over 94% effective against COVID-19 and importantly seemed to completely protect against severe disease and death. Also significant was that Moderna included a diverse population. Among its 30,000 volunteers, were 3,000 black Americans and 6,000 Hispanic participants. The federal government will oversee a centralized system to order, distribute, and track COVID-19 vaccines. All vaccines will be ordered through the CDC. Vaccine providers will receive vaccines from CDC's centralized distributor or directly from a vaccine manufacturer. Among the issues are supplies for the shots, including proof of vaccination cards. Specialized equipment for transportation and distribution will be required. Pfizer's vaccine needs super cold storage, while Moderna requires standard commercial freezer temps. Huge numbers of staff must be recruited and trained to handle and give vaccines. And the IT challenge is also immense, as unprecedented amounts of data must be tracked about every dose, recipient, and adverse effect. Perhaps the thorniest issue, though, is the significant public resistance to vaccines. The CDC is meeting tomorrow to address distribution and especially who will be at the front of the line for the 40 million doses expected this year. States will likely adjust the plan according to local needs, but they will also need a big infusion of federal dollars to vaccinate the population, little of which has been so far forthcoming. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the pandemic. And check out our website for the latest restrictions by state, plus testing information and a guide for remote learning. It's all there for you at CBSNewYork.com.